Do you see the love in the people who are struggling for the earth dance? The sooner we work together, the more we we'll have a chance. For the love that sets you free, only love can set us free. Give us strength to live, and give us strength to work. For your education, for your food, for your people, for the nature of your place. So, what is biochar and why do I want to use it? Well, biochar is simply charcoal that has been treated with minerals um, and probably microorganisms. Um, and it is an excellent soil amendment. That is, you can add it to your soil and your crop should grow better. Um, so, they will also do pretty well with uh, regular organic material uh, like leaves or straw, uh, composted manure, worm castings, etc. Um, there is one difference, and this is the other reason I use uh, biochar in my soils, is that it sequesters carbon. Uh, and by, by sequestering, I mean it keeps it in the soil for a long time. Up to 3,000 years has been noted uh, in the Amazon basin. Uh, the Indians uh, put to biochar in the soil, perhaps uh, originally uh, by accident from their fires and toilets and whatever uh, they mixed and they put, put this in the, like their, their dumps, their landfills. And uh, over time, uh, that darkened the earth and made what they call terra preta, which is a, uh, Portuguese, I believe, for, for uh, dark earth. And uh, it's extremely rich soil uh, down there in, in soils that are normally poor because of all the rainfall and it leaches out everything. But the charcoal persists, it stays in there, and it doesn't break down and turn back into carbon dioxide and go up in the atmosphere. What really happens is the sun uh, uh, gives energy to the plants. The plants take carbon dioxide out of the, out of the uh, atmosphere and create their plant bodies, whether it's wood, leaves, or fruit, or whatever. And that is chock full of charcoal, uh, uh, carbon. And, uh, and so that carbon uh, goes in the soil uh, when we're finished with it, and then it recycles back up in a matter of 20 years or 10 years or 5 years or something like that. And, become, and, and it, so it's continuously moving back uh, through life and then up into the atmosphere, through life and back up into the atmosphere. Well, with the charcoal, what you're doing is you're taking it, uh, it goes through life and it goes down and you create the charcoal and put it in the soil and it stays for a thousand years. So the cycle is broken and we're actually pulling uh, carbon, extra carbon out of the atmosphere and locking it in the soil, which we've done the opposite of that when we burn coal. We're being putting carbon and carbon and carbon, carbon dioxide up into the atmosphere for uh, maybe a century and a half, two centuries. And before that, we uh, ruffled up the ground by uh, tilling and that put uh, a tremendous amount of carbon in the atmosphere. And so we're in trouble. We've got an off-balance balance kind of situation that we're going to have to rectify. And by us putting carbon in the soil, it will help. It's one thing I can do. I can do a lot of things. I can uh, put compact fluorescents in my house. I can buy a more economical car. Uh, I can insulate my home, I can drive less, and I've done all this, and I've done the uh, no-till gardening and the organic gardening, and those all help. They're all very good help. But this is something where I can actually take uh, carbon from the atmosphere with the aid of the plants, and then I can lock it in the soil and, and do my part to erase my carbon debt. Um, it's something that's very important. If we want to survive, that we don't have to. Um, lots of species have gone extinct. Um, uh, so, what about resources? Where can you read about this? Um, uh, uh, there's an excellent book out called The Biochar Solution by Albert Bates, 
And if you look at thebiocharsolution.com, there's a little movie on there of Albert talking, and it's excellent. Um, well, I, it's a good it's a good video. Uh, then there's the IBI, the International uh, Biochar Initiative, where a bunch of scientists have put together uh, information on it. You can check that out on the web. Um, uh, let's see. Johannes Lehmann of Cornell University has done a lot of scientific research on soil fertility and uh, biochar. So there's plenty of information out there. And uh, so, you know, I like good food and I want good food. And I also want a planet that will continue to grow good food. So I would recommend you think seriously about biochar and incorporating it into your uh, gardening. So thanks.